little buddy block. They all want to have a go. Remember buddy blocks, you've got to take turns. My buddy blocks get really excited. We'll try and make sure everyone's buddy blocks get a fair go. Well done. They're all getting a bit wild in here. It's got to be fair. Each different colour has got to have a chance. I'm not sure the buddy blocks are being fair. Well, one of yours is having a go now. The buddy blocks are getting upset. Is it right that another blue one's having a go? Quiet! Stand still a minute. We need to check which colours have had a go already. Well, I don't know who's had a go already. But we can find out. Look, we can see who has had a go already by looking at the marks. There's one, two green marks, so my buddy blocks have had two goes. And only one blue mark. And there are one, two, three red marks. So my buddy blocks, you stand back and let a blue buddy block go next. Luckily we had a record on the paper to show what had already happened. That looks a bit fairer. Blue or green go next. Got to go, see you later. There's something going wrong. But not for long. Tell us the problem. It's at the cafe. Putting it on screen. <laughs> the girl hasn't got any food and the boy has far too much. He'll be sick. And that poor girl will go hungry. So will you send someone? Definitely. Thanks. OK, who should go? Fall was very worried about that girl. OK, then. This is a mission for number four. We've got a problem. What should we do? Who's going out there? Who do we choose? We've got a problem. Do we Who's going out there? Number four. Checking the room's clear. for a four to land on. Found a four. Oh! Phew! Right, off I go. Things are getting worse at the cafe. She doesn't seem to have any idea who has ordered what food. And someone, or something, has torn the menu into little bits. 
I hope you can help her for. Oh, more things going wrong. Agent 72 here, there's a problem at the school. Putting it on screen. The group has been cutting out shapes, but now it's time for the group to do something else. So what's the problem? Some of them say it should be football, but some of them say it should be television. The teacher doesn't know whether more children want football or more want television. And everyone seems very overexcited. Why? I'm noticing something quite strange. Little bubbles. Maybe the bubbles are making the children overexcited. Looking closer. Who could be making bubbles and making trouble? I know. Look! We know all about the puzzler. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. The puzzler, the puzzler, he's got a twist in mind. His bubbles, his trouble, if you get trapped inside. Solve the puzzle out, the puzzle will solve you. Puzzler, up to your tricks again. Yes, I have got a puzzle for you. You've got some finding out to do. What is the problem for the waitress? You'd better come up with a great guess. It's the same problem for the teacher. Find what it is, or I will beat you. <laughs> Agents, why is it the same problem for the waitress and the teacher? The thing is, they both don't know enough. The waitress doesn't know who has ordered what food, and the teacher doesn't know how many children want football and how many want television. I get it! Both of them need the right information. The waitress needs information about the food people want, and the teacher needs information about what the children want to do. And the puzzler's bubbles are making everything go wild. So getting the information is impossible. Oh, dear. Without the right information, anything could happen. <coughs> At the zoo, if they didn't have the right information about what animals like to eat, they might give leaves to the seals and throw fish to the giraffes. Or you might go shopping and not know what things you need and what you don't need. You might buy anything. Or people in a factory might not have the information on how to make a car and make it completely wrong. People definitely need the right information to know what to do. OK. That's worked out the first part of the puzzler's puzzle. Oh, so you've worked it out, have you? OK, four, just tell me, do. The waitress and the teacher need information to help them do the right thing. Correct. Oh, now here's challenge number two. How can the waitress know what to do? <laughs> Anybody? Any ideas? How can the waitress remember what food to give to people? Maybe she could write it down. Great idea. Trouble is... <laughs> the puzzler's bubbled her pad and pencil. Is there any other way she could remember what food is needed? Maybe she could use the bits of the menu. Yes! Use the little pictures of the food to remind her what food to bring. That's what we need to tell her. I'll get the brain game machine going. We've got to make sure she can remember the information she needs. Use pictures of food to remember the information. Use the little pictures to remember the information. She's going to get the orders. Yeah. 
The boy wants a pizza. The girl wants spaghetti. And their dad wants pizza too. Ah, oh, yes. She knows she needs two pizzas and one spaghetti. The waitress has got the information she needs to bring the right food. You'd better go and sort the teacher. OK. How's the teacher getting on? Oh, dear. Not very well. Is there anything she could use to show who wants what? I wonder, is there anything she could do with these cards? I'm sure they could be used somehow. Some of them are round. Some of them are rectangular. That reminds me of something. I know. The teacher could use the cards for voting. How? The ones who want football can show a round card. Putting it on screen. A round card means you want football. And the ones who want television can vote with a rectangular card. A rectangular card means you want television. Brilliant. Let's send them the idea. Use cards to show what you want to do. Use cards to vote. She's getting things sorted. She's going to get the information. They're going to vote. That's one vote for television. And one vote for football. Who's going to win? So we've got a record of what everyone wants. And as you can see, there are more votes for football. The teacher has the information yes. she needs. And the ones who wanted television don't mind. Because they can see for themselves there's more votes for football. We've beaten the puzzler's challenge. Oh, once again you're out of trouble. So off I go, me and my bubbles. <laughs> Come back now, Four. Managed to beat the puzzler again. All thanks to having the right information. And it's all on screen. The waitress didn't know what food the people had ordered. She didn't have the information. And the teacher didn't know what was more popular, football or television. But the waitress kept a record of what food was needed by using little pictures of food. And the children made a record of what they wanted by voting for it. Football got the most votes. And that's how we beat the puzzler. Hi, Six. We've been having a go on the jump pad. I bet you can't work out which of us has had the most goes. Well, I'll try. I think I can work it out. Can you see from the record who has had the most goes? And who has had only one go? And who should go next? And then maybe you could make your own record of something that you do. And call the number jacks. 